at the 11. Here's Hertz standing strong in the pocket, winds up down the field. Oh, he put the biscuit in the basket. Rambo on the move. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Um, I know my opinion on him. I already. I'll, I'll talk about that later. What are your thoughts on Jalen Hurts? Wait, I want to ask you a question. Did you finally watch the Baylor film? Because <laughs> that was my biggest turnoff. That was the moment I was like, okay, I don't see the hype. <laughs> okay, no. So, because I went back and, because what I did, I compared the two. Because Alabama, Oklahoma, completely different. So, I went back, I watched both. Oklahoma made it so easy for him. Oklahoma was, like, his completion percentage was 69% this year. And I was like, there's no way that's actually him. It's a Lincoln Riley system. A lot of screens, a lot of easy throws. Went back and watched the Baylor film. Um, Because originally, he has the arm talent. He has the arm to capacity to make the throws. It's just some, he just, for me as a quarterback, when I watched Alabama film, he was asked to be a pocket passer there more, more so than Oklahoma. And it just, he missed a lot of throws. He's yeah. middle of the field. He made some, it very inconsistent though. Like, Jalen Hurts to me, he, I love the leadership. He has the it factor. He has a story around him. He's a great guy to have in the locker room. And I'm not going to ask him to go be a running back, be a Taysom Hill. He's a quarterback. But to me, it just, he has the traits. He has the arm talent. I just don't feel like he has the consistency. I don't feel like he has the accuracy to do a game in, game out. It's it's tough for me. It's tough because very inconsistent, and it depends. Like I said, the position or the the situation he gets in that's key. But I just I I take him third, late third round at most, at highest, late third round. I agree. Uh, extremely, there's an extremely limited ceiling, and like people were hyping him up, but like for a Lincoln Riley system, like what you said, was a lot of screens and stuff, a lot of turnovers. Turnovers yeah. were an issue for me. He's very he's very reckless when he's running by himself. Like you said, accuracy those windows get only get tighter in the NFL, and that's gonna, his accuracy issues only going to lead to more turnovers. Like people give the Dak Prescott comparison. Dak Prescott, in my opinion, looking back at it, like yeah, they were both mobile. They both could sit in the pocket and throw. Less turnover issues than Hurts, off of my recollection. I didn't yeah. do an intense film study on Prescott, so don't quote me on that. But I remember yeah. being more impressed with his film than Hurts. Yeah, no, same thing. And for people who are, like, they're mad because so many people DM me. They're like, no, Hurts is a star quarterback. The difference, like, I love the Dak Prescott comparison, but Dak Prescott in college, he was a better pocket passer. He was far more accurate pocket passer. And, like, Hurts, when he's running the ball, sure, he's very productive in college, but there's a difference between college production and NFL production. I just hurts to me he's he makes the wow throws he can launch the ball deep i've seen it he's got the arm talent it's just the in inaccuracy it's the in inconsistency with jalen hurts i don't know if i can trust him to be my quarterback and that's why i i think he's give him a chance give him late third round early fourth round you can take him but there's no way i'm taking him first two rounds because if first two rounds you are expecting the quarterback to be your quarterback you can't expect jalen hurts to be your quarterback I totally agree with that. A nice, terrific play by the junior from Reno Valley. All sorts of time. Deep ball. And it's caught inside the 10 yard line by COC Mariner. They look for that hookup earlier. In yeah. The um, I like to talk about Jordan Love. Jordan Love, you like Jordan Love. Is he your number three? He's my number three. Number He's three. Number three. And he had a great junior year, I want to believe. I want to say. Uh, sophomore year. He's coming out of junior. Sophomore year. And then last year, kind of iffy. But what have you seen out of Jordan Love that makes you like him so much? Um, see, there's a risk when it comes to a trait guy. Like, I hate using the word trait guy. Like, Patrick Mahomes is a trait guy. Yeah. But we've seen plenty of other trait guys who have not panned out. But they've usually been thrown into games too early. We know it's a matter. We always talk about fit. Jordan Love is a matter of fit. If you put him on a team that's not going to rush him, if you put him in LA and you let Tyrod start for a year, then I think he could be very good. But you cannot put him in from day one. But he just makes some wild plays. Like the yeah. ball, like the ball flies off his hand. Mm -hmm. it, he's got arm talent. He's got good mobility. The team around him stunk. Like we, like you, we, like you just said about Herbert. Well, he had he had coaching changes. This that. Jordan Love's head coach left, and he got replaced with a worse coach. But for some reason, we decided to say he sucks all of a sudden. Mm. Like, we're not yeah. giving two guys the same benefit of the doubt. And mm. I think Jordan Love deserves that benefit of the doubt. And we had guys at the Senior Bowl. They looked just as good. 
But I think Jordan Love's got a more natural, more natural swagger about him on the field. He's got, like you say, you see a confidence in him yeah. that Herbert doesn't have. Love has that confidence. Yeah, we're going to say, oh, my God, he's going to throw that interception. But that's what comes with a gunslinger. You see it every now and then out of Mahomes. You should see it more, but he's just so insanely talented. Mm-hmm. You see it out Brett Favre's Hall of Famer. How many times do people go back and look at his film and say, he threw that ball? You're yeah. going to get some of those recorded love, but you're, gonna, you're, gonna, but you're also going to get some, oh, my God, he completed that pass? Like, mm-hmm. you're going to have some bad, but I think you're going to get a lot of good if you put him into a situation where he can develop. Yeah, no, I agree. It's And people like drawing the Patrick Mahomes comparison. I mean, it's like you said, the trait guy. It's When you look on film, he's abs- it's just wow. It's like, it, wow, and it just it makes you grab your head at the stupid plays he makes as well. It's yeah. like, oh, but I completely agree. NFL... An NFL organization is completely different than a college organization. He's going to get, like you said, he needs to sit behind a guy for one year at least and then give, let him understand, let him learn what it takes. And like you said, I'd be willing mid-first round to go bet on that. Just bet on the traits alone. I'd be willing. Like, let's say, I know you didn't like this. I think the New Orleans Saints, if, if, yeah. they, if they have a chance, I don't know who, the, who they, else they want to pick, but, I mean, to sit behind Drew Brees for a year, because we know Taysom Hill is not the option behind yeah. Drew Brees. Sit behind Drew Brees for a year, then let him come in after two years? Uh, that's a perfect situation for him. Yeah, I like the situation. It's just I think they're going to have to trade up. That's the yeah. thing. It, okay. Or the Saints yeah. willing to trade up. The situation's good, but I think, like, remember, the Chiefs traded up 15 spots for Mahomes. You're going to have to trade up for Love. And it wouldn't shock me if you're trading – if you're trading – Honestly, I could see the Saints trading up to the 49ers pick, and they just want more – the 13. The 13th pick, because they hop, they hop the Bucks at 14. Bucks at 14, yeah. Like, I could see them hop – like, that's a pick I could see. Um, the Jets at 11 could be looking to trade down. They could use I, – I've if because if they're looking receiver round one, we've talked about the receiver depth. I could see them looking to trade down, depending on how the, their early draft oh. board falls. But – it's just like a matter of what team is willing to take the hall to like take go take Jordan Love. Yeah, see, that's like it just whatever. If a team likes a guy, go out and get him no matter what. Yeah. That's why, like you said about Daniel Jones, whether any of us like him or not, if the organization likes him, you're doing whatever it takes to get the quarterback. Yeah, you don't be that's- you don't you don't be savvy with a quarterback. You don't try to be cheeky yeah. and wait on him. No, you yeah. if you think he's good enough, you think he's your guy, you go and get him no matter what. Exactly. Eason off play action, taking the shot. Bacelli, touchdown, Huskies, 50 yards. Jacob Eason, last quarterback um, out of Washington. I I liked him. I just obviously, when you look at the film, it's wow. Absolute gun. You said you were watching the Pro Day or something. Explain that. Yes. So he put out his Pro Day on YouTube, and there was one clip where he sat in the end zone, literally like he doesn't do a step in, just pure core and arm strength. He tossed it 62 yards. Like, that's, like, in most guys' step in full release in the NFL. Like, you see Daniel laugh at that because that's, like, an oh, my oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the but, fact yeah. that he could just do that on a whim, like, the natural wow. arm talent is wow. He comes from yeah. a – he also comes from a coach who knows how to – who is a, has a high IQ and knows how to produce smart quarterbacks. Jake Browning was high IQ at the college level and knew how to make his throws. And he opened up his offense more with Jacob Easton because he had more arm talent. Let's not forget at Boise State, Chris Peterson – he developed Kellen Moore into an NFL quarterback. He developed into a guy who, who lacks athleticism, but made him into a pretty damn smart guy and a good backup. So Easton has three times the ceiling of those guys. Let's not forget this was an, also a coach who was burned out by the end of the season. I don't love the talent around Easton is not what Washington has had in the past. I mean, we're used to we're used to better running backs from that school, better receiver. They're usually bringing in John Ross, Dante Pettis. Can't even think off the top of my head who he was throwing to this year. So. Actually, besides Hunter Bryan, who'll probably be a third round pick out of tight end, but even he, tight end. yeah, but even people have complained about his attitude, and you've seen some complaints about his hands. So, Easton was not dealing with the best core around him, in my opinion. And I think the kid just got so much talent. Yeah. There is so it, much talent. He's oozing with it. My biggest exactly. issue is when he faces a blitz. When people are right in his face, he for some reason evades backwards and tries to act like he's Lamar Jackson. <laughs> rather than just an average like average athlete like you see yeah. joe burrow he goes like through the middle he takes the hole that he sees jacob easton doesn't do that and he panics sometimes against the blitz which is normal for a young quarterback as yeah. long as he's not taking bad sacks if he's throwing it away we're fine but in the nfl you hope his blocking is better around him 
I'm assuming he'll have a better core guys who could get open and you have coaches who could game plan around that. Like you said, college or college football is a lot different than the NFL. And I think he could be a more than productive NFL quarterback. Yeah, no, I agree. I just, for sure. When I was watching film, the main critiques I had was him trying to act like he's Lamar Jackson. He's get rushed. And then he tries evading the pressure, but he, and he tries doing like the spin out of the pocket. That's just, that's not who he is. He's six foot six, 230 pounds. Like that's, he can't, that's not his game. But obviously, go into the NFL, you can develop. And it's just, we know he has the arm talent. That's at least you have the potential. You have something to work with. So an organization says, we look at Jacob Eason, we have the potential here. I, I think he lacks touch. I think he, he misses some of the easy throws. No, I agree with that. He's what's the, kind of like Josh Allen, throws the ball really hard, doesn't really, like on the short routes, it's more of like a, I'm going to throw this ball as hard as I can at you. But I think, like you said, talent absolutely he's oozing with talent give him a chance i think i'd take him i it, it really depends on the organization i'd go late first round if you really need a guy 